In this prophecy video, you will see Ezra Caleb next to Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu for one reason only. And that is so we do not touch the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh that was once on this man. Taking him out is like touching the anointing, and so we can't do it. At the time that he was still obeying Yahushua HaMashiach, the true Savior, the Son of Yahweh God, and humbly walking next to his wife, Elisheva Eliyahu, as a male co-leader of a mighty wit ministry. But that was a then, and this is a now. And so I inform all of you that at this present time, Ezra Caleb is no longer that male co-leader, neither associated with his ministry of a mighty wind in any way, as he chose a path of willful sin, rebellion, occultism, idolatry, self-exaltation, need I go on, this man started to commit crimes against the heavenly holy trinity and against this ministry and the people who considered this ministry to be a blessing. And as a matter of fact, anyone who loves Yahushua and has accepted him as their Lord God and Savior. If you want to know what can happen to you if you are in willful sin and rebellion against Yahweh, you do not have to look any further than this man and what happened to him and to his mind. Because the insanity has gone as far as thinking that he is a god. And I leave it at that. Can you imagine that? Thinking that you are God Almighty in the flesh? But this was not so. When he obeyed Yahweh God, and the two anointings became one, him and Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu, it truly was a wonderful thing. How much they accomplished together for the Kingdom of Heaven, leading souls to Yahushua all over the world especially in 2016 and 17. Things were wonderful. But in 2018, things went bad very quickly as he surrounded himself with a reprobate soul gathering. False visionaries, false prophets from the pit of hell to soothe his itching ears, seducing him, influencing him, flattering and turning him into this golden calf that ought to be worshipped. And guess what? He fell for it. They turned him against his own wife, Elisheva Eliyahu, a true prophet who would never fill his head with such nonsense, who will only tell him what the Lord God Almighty Yahweh, Yahushua HaMashiach, and the precious Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit have to say. But he didn't want to hear it anymore. He turned on Elisheva Eliyahu and on anyone who would not fall down in total loyalty at his feet. He allowed himself to be brainwashed so badly that he demanded to be the head of this ministry, which to him means an iron fist dictatorship where he sets out the rules and no longer the heavenly trinity, where Elisheva has totally no say, where he is the only leader and would call the shots. He would have turned this ministry into an Orthodox Jewish, Kabbalistic, Old Blood Covenant ministry until Yahweh God stopped it and kicked him out. There is no male co-leader by Elisha Veliyahu's side at this time. And until that new anointed man comes forth to replace Ezra, you will only see Yahushua HaMashiach himself next to Elisha Veliyahu in this image. For truly he is the one that covers and protects and holds her. He is her Savior and Lord God Almighty, is Yahushua HaMashiach. You also still see her hold up this necklace that this former male co-leader gave her at a time that he truly loved her, and in fact, more importantly, when he truly loved Yahushua. For how can he love a holy virtuous woman unless he truly loves Yahushua himself? This necklace also represents a symbol of the Holy Heavenly Trinity to Elisheva, who are the true head of this ministry. You will not see any other man next to Elisheva in this image until that new anointed male co-leader appointed by Yahushua himself will come forth. That new man will cover her and protect her in prayer the way that Ezra was meant to do. This man will always stress the importance of the new blood covenant and will not go back to the old, 
but he will stress that only Yahushua HaMashiach, the son of Yahweh, is the true Savior, a Redeemer, and the Lord God Almighty. Ezra Caleb, sad to say, went back to the old blood covenant, committing a crime against Yahushua and against all the people that Yahushua gave his life for at the cross of Calvary. Ezra Caleb was warned Yahweh would not wait any longer for him to come back. Elisha Eliyahu has got so many prophecies stored up, even for Israel, the Hebrew-speaking people, and they will be released. Please do pray with your whole heart that the man once called Ezra Caleb will come back to the saving grace of Yahushua HaMashiach and to the new blood covenant that his soul will be spared and saved, that he will come out of agreement with Satan and with the reprobate soul gathering that turned his heart cold against his own wife and against the heavenly holy trinity. Now please watch this prophecy, be blessed, encouraged, edified, taught, and where needed, convicted to turn away from your sins and turn towards Yahushua as your savior as all these prophecies do, is lead you further into a deeper, loving, obedient, repentant relationship with your Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, with the Heavenly Trinity, and to love them, the Lord God Almighty, who are truly one, the three in one, with your heart, with your soul, with all of your strength, and with all of your mind. The number 20 stands for redemption in Hebrew. Now this prophecy came forth on January the 20th, 2020. It's like double redemption, praise Yeshua, for us, through His name and blood in this evil and insane world. Give your life to Yahushua HaMashiach this day, before it's too late. Now, before you hear this prophecy that was spoken forth through Apostle Elisha Eliyahu, you will hear a man pray for her and cover and protect her in holy tongues, the way that Caleb used to do, but not at this point in time. Now this man that you're about to hear, Elisheva Eliyahu lovingly calls her best friend forever. She has known this man and his faithfulness and his friendship, of which I can testify for more than 14 years. He is her brother in Yahushua and her dearest best friend. A man who stands by Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu's side must walk in integrity in holiness and righteousness and must be humble and trustworthy and honest and has to believe in the new blood covenant and desires to lead souls to Yahushua HaMashiach together with her. Elisha Eliyahu's best friend forever is temporarily taking this place until Abba Yahweh raises up someone else. This new man will be a Hebrew translator and he will be a man from Judah though it doesn't mean that he has to live in Israel. Now, whoever is listening to this video, if you think that you know someone who fits these qualities, please send them this video and let them pray on it to see whether they are the one that Yah is calling out. One of the meanings of the name Caleb is a whole heart, and the new man that comes forth will have to have a whole heart. Not half a heart, not one-tenth, but a whole heart. Now, that is an anointing that was on this man, Ezra Caleb. But Ezra Caleb, as you still seem to prefer the way of a narcissist, dishing out punishment to your loved ones, abuse unlike any other abuse, with your great arrogance, your pride, and your great silence, not even deeming us worthy to respond to when we humble ourselves again, when your wife humbles herself again to reach out to you in several ways as Yeshua leads us. It is still too hard for you to say the three words, I am sorry. Even though you know, and Abba Yahweh spells it out again in this very prophecy, that Yahushua has used us and your wife to save your life numerous times, which would have been taken a long time ago by these reprobates. You wouldn't even be alive today if it wasn't for the prayers of the righteous, Yahushua's demon stompers, whom you so despise and look down upon. Ezra Caleb, even though you know that those reprobates that surrounded you are of the devil, they all lie to you. 
They set you up to divide you from your beloved wife and to divide the two anointings that were meant to be one for Yahushua's glory to lead souls to Him. Even though you know all of these things, it is still too hard to say, I am sorry. Yahweh waited this long, not because you are a God or because you are inexpendable. It's because He loves you. It's because He wants to give you something. He wants to give you this blessing of reaching the Israeli people for Yahushua, together with your beloved wife, the other half of the anointing. But where is the fear of Yahweh, Ezra Caleb, as you dare to wait? We're doing it Yahweh's way, the way that He's asking you to come back with a whole heart. Where is the fear, as you know, or should know, that Yahweh can pick up a stone and create and form a man from it, from Israel, and fill it with an obedient soul who will obey Him and love Him with a whole heart at all costs, the way that you were meant to do. We want you to come back with a whole heart, and this never changed, but the devil lies to you and you allow him to do it. For you to think that you can wait, you can't wait. The longer that you wait, Ezra Caleb, with doing it Yahweh's way and repenting and turning away from your sins, and loving Yahushua with all that is within you, the more difficult, the harder it's going to get for you. You see what is going on in this world, the disease, the insanity, the death, the destruction, the evil that's running rampant. Who are you to think that you can wait and let Abba Yahweh Yahushua and the Ruach HaKadosh wait? The Holy Trinity are not going to wait for you. We warn you again, Ezra Caleb, do not test the patience of the Heavenly Holy Trinity. Watch this prophecy and be convicted to do it Yahweh's way in Yahushua HaMashiach's name. People, thank you for watching. Be blessed with this prophecy and the very anointed and special salvation prayer afterwards that was given 25 years ago to Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu. Koshikela katakadona na na vara mahakila kohoko toko 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 vara mashakila koto toko vara hakaya lo na na mana hakila koto koto toko toko vara mashakila koto toko vara shakila ko kasakila no na na vara mahaki ke to toko 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 vara shakila koto koto no na na vara mahakila kohoshete tata makata hai ya vara moshokole ni na na vara mahaki hai lo na na vara maki to toko toko to na na vara malahakete to koshen ni na vara shakai ke lo Toko manana na vora hakila ni no na vara meke to toka taka taka no 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 na manana na vora la sheke sheke no na vora kele no na meke hashuko to toko vora mama la haki ke soko toko toko no na na vora hai ya maleko toko zara sheke le ke no 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 na mahashete. I warn you all, those who are coming against this ministry and those and these prophecies, and I and all the ministers of a mighty way ministry, I warn you now, touch not Yah's anointed and do his prophets no harm, lest the wrath of the rod of Yah come upon you. For those who are blessed and are a blessing to this ministry and faithful and who rely on the prophecy much blessing will come upon you, all to protect what belongs to Yah in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Horrors upon horrors. Oh my, somebody got to get tape recorder going here. Sima kaya hai no ko hoba kele kata. No 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 no. Sira yela kata mukoto. Suku yana na na yela kata makaya na yela kata na no koto. Oh, suku yela kata makiela kata na no koto ba kele kata na no koto. Ayana na kata, ri na kata na na yana na kata. Only the most. 
stupid, Donovan. So we will believe you. So nakata. You cannot even pretend. So na nakata. So ko so ko yana nakata maki. Horena na ya hor upon hor upon hor upon hor. You want to to That's all you have to look forward to. So ko yana nakata. You want to mock the Holy Trinity. So ko yana nakata. Horena nakata mo ko yana nakata. Caleb has no part of this. So ko so ko yana nakata maki. Ayana nakata no nakata makari na nagay nakata. And you t- dare to take the picture of him when he truly has so naka the anointing that he shared with Elishava. So ko yana nakata maki le kata na nokoto. This is how far you would go. This is how far you will stoop. For you know you've lost control. Enough of your mind control. It's broken off of him. I'm going to take all of your brains, you reprobates who tried to control him and did control him for a while, and I'm going to make it feel like it is scrambled eggs. That's what your brains are. Scrambled eggs. From this day forth, say I, Yahweh El Shaddai. I shall scramble your brains. I shall put the confusion in you. You will not know if you were running north or south, east or west. I shall take your compass and I shall break it. You shall run around in circles. The chickens with his head cut off. That's what you are to me. Did you forget with his own mouth he did speak when he was underneath the anointing? And everyone heard him in the video of two anointings became one the first time they spoke. With her on the phone, so ko so ko yana nakata makiela kata na na yana nakata mukoto. Ora na yana kata, so ko yana nakata makiela kata na nukoto. That he said, El Shava, it was as though when I was born, you were already there. So ko so ko yana nakata, you were there with me. So ko so ko yana nakata, ara na yana kata na nukoto ko yana nakata. You have blasphemy and blasphemy and blasphemy. You have blasphemy, I, Yahweh. You have blasphemy, you, Shua Hamashiach. And you have blasphemy, the Raka Kadesh, the Shekinah glory, Sukoyana, has no part of you anymore. All you have to look forward to now is horror among horrors, and that goes for all of you there. See, like, oh, try to even, so then I got to pretend that he has any relationship with you. So when I got to, the truth is, saying, and I got, you hate him with a hatred. So Koyana Nakata, but, but he's on to you now. So Koyana Nakata. Elisheva, he listened to, he knows of you. So when I got to, was set up. So Koyana Nakata. He knows you never wanted another leader. You never wanted another spiritual father. He knows now what you have done. Soko soko yana nakata makiela kata. Arena na yana nakata mokoto. Ureya kata makiela kata. Sayana nakata. Oyana nakata. Sakena nakata na nokoto. Udonavan. Soko soko yana nakata makiela kata. You. So we nakata. Who call herself Christina? Sayana nakata. Ureya kata. And then I guess shapeshifting is getting worse. Soko soko yana nakata. And you, Shenya Sokoyana Nakata Makiela Gata, you wear a dark covering over your head, Sina Nakata. And what the one you call your husband, Sina Nakata, you call yourself, Sokoyana Nakata, Nina Nakata, Aranakata, the queen of the planet, Sakina, queen of space, Soko Sokoyana Nakata Makiela Gata. And he's Aquaman, Sokoyana Nakata, Nina Nakata. King of the underground seas, Soko Soko Yana Nakata Makela Kata, Arena Kayana Kata Mokoto, Orene Yana Kata Bakela Kata, Arena Kata for this part of a sea that even goes deeper, Soko Soko Yana Nakata, Arena Kayana Nakata Mokoto, Soko Yana Nakata Makela Kata, Rena Nakata, Soko Yana Kata Makela Kata, Rena Nakata, Orena Kata, Rena Nakata. Where Atlantis is hidden, Soko Soko Yana Nakata. 
the marine kingdom sort of not, but don't deceive yourself o steven soko soko ya nakata makela katana no kotore na naya nakata uh, you have no power so under the sea so nakata and you shall have no power over space so nakata who do you think you are you are nothing more than dust i shall blow away and oh we won't even get into you O oh, Donovan, you think you control time? Ah, Yahweh, control time. You say that you can control the sun? Then what happened to the eclipse that was to be on April 19th, 2019? Passover, you say. Everyone run and hide, run and hide, run and hide. I mock you. I Yahweh. Are you Shamashiach and I the Rakakadash? We the true three co creators of true holy trinity. We are the Shema. We are all three are one. So we mock you. So you do not have any excuse when you stand before me on judgment day. Which is not a far off. So ko so ko yana nakata maki, arena yana kata na no kotore yana kata, arena kata na no yana kata. It is not as though I did not warn you. So ko yana nakata maki la kata. Before you were in the book of the blotted out. So ko so yana nakata. I warned you. So ko yana nakata. I told you, Christina. So ko so ko yana. You better have the fear. Of Ayahave. You said it took one month to get it back. In truth, all you did was turn to the devil. Sukoyananakata. In the books of the occult and hand it out to everyone. Sukoyananakata makelekata. You said let mom and dad think that they are in love. Sukoyananakata baki. We have work to do. Sukoyananakata. Anakata to destroy this ministry and destroy their love. Sukoyananakata make. Let her think. Sinakata. That Ella Sheva has Ezra's love. We shall take it away. You shall see. So it's such a short time, but we must study, 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 study. We must put the fear in him, and that is my job first. Run, 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 I wish I'd tell Caleb. Run, 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 run. You. You know we are your only place of safety. Lies upon lies upon lies. You dug your own grave. You will be consumed with my fiery rage. And oh, brave and you, Kenyan, you voodoo, you priest. You, I'm going to wipe that smile so far off your face, Sukoyanakata, for it's nothing more than mockery, Sukoyanakata, Mokoyananakata. And, oh, Scott, just wait till I do to you, Sukoyanakata, Makelakata. You say you'll do anything that he wants you to, Sukoy, just tell me, Dad, tell me. Tell me what you want me to do, Sukoyanakata, Makelakata. Orenakilakata, Nanokotianakata, Rianakata. When's the last time you ever to ask me that question, Sukoyananakata? When did any of you ever say, Abba Yahweh, in the name of Yushua Mashiach, just tell me what to do and tell me what to say, and I will obey. You are not Torah keepers. You are all Torah breakers. And right now, Caleb, you've got a lot of apologizing to do. Sukoyananakata, Makelakata, Nanukotore, Narayanakata, Arenakata, Mokoti, Narayanakata. I warned you through Elishava, Sukoyananakata. Orenakata makelakata, Arenakata mokoyananakata. I told her to send that audio, Sukoyananakata, Baki, to Sylvester, Sukoyananakata. So you would understand, Sukoyana, why, Sinanakata. They, when they say that they love you, and then their love turns to hate, Sukoyananakata. Why you would understand, Sukoyananakata. It never was real, Sukosukoyananakata. They never wanted you. They never accepted you. Why can't you understand, Sukoyananakata? Is your pride and your arrogance that much to believe that 
No one would dare not love you. Soko soko yana nakata. You think you're just all of that. Soko yana nakata. I gave one woman that kind of love. Soko soko yana nakata. But she refused to put you before me, just like the others who are the true Yahushua's demon stompers. And those in this ministry who have begged me to send Caleb, the true Caleb, the delivered Caleb from so many demons. And I have given a promise. Once he admits he needs deliverance and he does this repentance video and he admits before the world he false prophesied because that's all on you. That's all on you, Ezra. That's all on you. That's all on you, Caleb. That was all on you. You wanted to be that prophet. You wanted to believe that you were Moshe of New. All because I said in a prophecy you had a spirit like on the Moshe of old. I said the same to Elisheva. She had a spirit like on the Eliyahu. But that does not make you Moses. And that does not make her Elijah of old. I was talking about the qualities. I was talking about the relationship with me. I was talking about how you seek me and how you are humble before me. I was not talking about how you would own all the cattle on the hills. Caleb, repent, repent, repent. It's you alone who has a chance. The rest of them, they are reprobate. And I, Yahweh, say, Sornakata, Jacob I loved and Esau I hated and all these reprobates I hate. I, the creator of their soul, hate. And Yahushua, Hamashiach, says to them, don't even dare try to say, I am your Messiah, as you mock me and mock the Holy Communion. And mock the Ruach HaKodesh. I say unto you like I did the scribes and the Pharisees. I am from above and you are from below and your father is the devil. For you gave your soul. You gave your life. You made your decision before you even were born. You knew what side you fought on. Whether it be the I, Yahweh, Yusha, Meshach, and the Ruach HaKadosh side, or Lucifer, and those that are now called the fallen angels. They all had a choice. You all made it. That's why I say, you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Your soul already knows. Each and every one who was born on this earth knows whether or not they truly will be in heaven or whether they're going to hell in the lake of fire. They can fool others and they can try to fool themselves. But sooner or later, the truth will come out. Do you really want to obey me? Do you really want to follow Yahushua? As he said, everything I do, I've seen my father do. Can you say the same? Can you say that you obey the way Yahushua has taught you to obey him? You defile even the word Torah keeper. All of you have broken the commandments so many times. The laws I wrote with my own fiery finger and you mock me. You mock me by putting a website up. You mock the Torah. And you, Ezra, you, Caleb, you had better get your picture off of it. And every word that proclaimed you as God. And that goes for the YouTube channel where they've now said happy birthday to you. I had Elisheva write you. I had her say, let me rescue you. I can give you the greatest present ever. I promise you. And I still do. I want you as my Caleb and new. I want you as a comeback kid of Israel. 
What greater testimony can there be to a book that is reaching out to Israel? Do you not care anymore? I anointed you two together to be as one. But when you walked away from that anointing, Caleb, you walked away from Elisheba, and there's nothing in common with the two anointings anymore until you truly repent before her, humble yourself, grovel on the ground like a worm, the worm that turned. Don't you understand? You can be a caterpillar, but out can come the most beautiful butterfly. That's what I want you to do is fly, 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 fly away. Right in the arms of Yahushua. Fly away. Say that you are sorry. Say to Israel, there is but one deliverer. Allow me to deliver you from all of these. This legion of the demons. Yes. Arrogance and pride. Open the door to narcissist who is the most evil, evil demon. For with that demon, there is not one demon that cannot enter in. Do you understand? Even murder, even thievery, self-exaltation, idolatry. There is lying and deceiving, manipulating. Even the word love. That's just part of what it's about. Ask me, cannot you see they fed you narcissism for all of them were narcissists without one exception. They all thought they were the best and they thought they could outdo one another and then they got control of you and now they think they have the greatest treasure because they truly planned on ending your life so many times and if it hadn't been for Yushua's demon stompers, the YDS, the true ones that I have assembled with Elisheva, Caleb, you'd already be dead. Seven times 70. This is how many times you would have been dead and you would have been in hell. But you are my little lamb, even though you are now black. All you have to do is keep praying because you made the first step. You let the anointing that was in the audio that Elisheva sent you let it penetrate your heart and your soul and your mind and your body. You long to hear her voice again. It's been over a year. And you can't even acknowledge a fact that you love her back. You can't even tell Sil and Tal or Yushua's demon stompers, thank you for keeping me alive. When you seen Jason brag how he wanted to burn you alive, even on his Facebook page, putting that picture there after the warning was given that they wanted to burn you alive. But I'm still willing to forgive you, Caleb. Nothing has changed except for one thing. The more you procrastinate, the harder it's going to get for you. For you're telling me I'm still going to try to do it my way. You're showing me that you have arrogance and pride and the demon of narcissism has not been weakened or cast out. I will never send you back with anything but a pure motivation of the love that I have given you, not just for my son, Yahushua, and I, Yahweh, and Emayah, the Rakh HaKadash, but for your wife and for your true 
spiritual children who want to call you that again, but they're not anyone that you have ever called. In all of this time, you've never said you're sorry. You have never repented to them publicly in any way. Where is the brave one who once admitted that he was wrong and gave his life and told Yahushua, it is you now that live in me. I only want to follow and obey you. I give up all my wealth. I give up everything I have to follow after you. Where is he? He was so brave. Come out, come out, come out. Come out wherever you are. Come out and apologize to the world in a video. Expose these evil ones, even by name, so people can understand how the lies were told and what you felt when you heard the different manners of death that were called down on your wife. You know, Caleb. You already know. But you've all stolen. And what you have to redeem. And Yerusha will show you how to do that. And what you tried to steal. And what you failed. You will never have a mighty wind ministry. For it truly does belong to the creators and only to the co-creators. I'll say it again because there's only three. I, Yahweh, Yusha, Meshach, the Rock, HaKadosh. And you must repent for daring to call a demon goddess the sister of Yusha, HaMashiach and the daughter of the Rock HaKadosh. All of these things you have done. Yet I said I would not lose one. Not one of my sheep, not one of my lambs. I'll break their hind legs where they can't walk. But I, Yahushua HaMashiach, am the good shepherd and I will carry you close to my breast until you can be healed, until everything can be redeemed, until your love and your focus is on me again. And that can only happen with three words. Please forgive me. That's all it takes. And I'm not talking about the reprobates, and I'm not talking to those who brag in their lukewarm state. You pew warmers, you know who you are. But you do not have to stay that way. You can get on fire for I, Yahweh, and Yahushua on the Ruach HaKodesh. Right now I'm speaking to those whom I hate and horror shall come upon them and I will use them for an example and they will see, just like Tatiana, house burned down. She laughed when Elisheva said, The fiery wrath of Yah shall consume you, and you shall go up in spontaneous combustion. She laughed because it was the house was only burned to the ground, and she ran out of there to escape with her life. But I had a reason for that. And Elisheva, you say, why didn't you just burn her alive right there? Oh, Elisheva, she's going to suffer. Let me toy with my enemies. Her mother learned a very important lesson. And now she has no home to live in. It was burned to the ground and everything in it that cannot be replaced. You will see, you will see what I do to the worst of my, the reprobate enemies. In these end times, the reprobate have grown so wicked 
m more wicked than that of Sodom and Gomorrah, and you know what I did to Sodom and Gomorrah and the seven cities besides. Yet this world right now is more wicked in my eyes. Oh, but the holy and the anointed one. And now I even speak to the bride, the bride, the bride of Yusham Mashiach and Yahweh. I tell you this, you've grown more holy. With each battle, you've gotten stronger. With each trial, they're more precious than gold when you ask me why. It is just like a soldier from the USA has to go to boot camp to learn how to get tough. I had to toughen up my soldiers. I speak only to the bride of you, Shoham Shek now. You are the toughest of the soldiers. What you think you could not survive, you survived. And those of you who will be the guest at the marriage supper of the Lamb, you will find out what you think you will never survive. You will survive and you will grow tough. And you will realize that the spiritual weapons that I have given you are more powerful than any carnal weapon that you could ever hold. And I have more miracles than you could ever possibly even think of in ways that I will show you how to escape when the time comes. This is what I have to say. I know, Elisheva, you grieve. You cannot believe this war against the one, the man that I called Ezra. Erez Yotam. I called you Ezra because you were Yah's helper. One time you were. When will you be again? When you truly, truly come back to me with a pure heart through the name and the blood of Yusha Mashiach and you will not be ashamed to say it over the social media platform of a video. And yes, every way you can shout it. You will let Israel and you will let the world know the horrors you have lived through, what you have seen, how you were deceived to even think that you were in heaven. To even think and allow yourself to be compared to my only begotten son, Yahushua Mashiach. Enough of that. You will admit that you were wrong. You will admit a demon caused you to think these thoughts. You will know you are nothing more than dust in my eyes. And if I wanted to, I would have blown you away over a year ago. You would not have lived past 2018. But I saved you. I have a plan for you. And the plans I have for you and Elisheba are for good and not for evil to prove that I can restore even that which you think is destroyed forever. Elisheba will know when you truly are repented. Elisheba will know when you are delivered. For it will be just like the times of old when over a thousand prophecies were told. And I spoke them and Yahushua spoke them forth. Through Elisheva's mouth, but it was your anointed prayers that stirred it up. As she knew when to speak and she knew when to prophesy. For it was you who stirred that anointing up inside. I anointed you to be that prayer covering. I anointed you to be that husband where a relationship was never based on lust, but true love from heaven. 
you allowed that love to become perverted with others. And I had to take you away so you could not pervert. My beloved, Elisheva Eliyahu, my ring maiden, the leader of this ministry. For we are the head of it, the Holy Trinity. You must repent for ever thanking a demon goddess, allowing yourself to read the doctrines of devils, including the Kabbalah. I'm not naming all the books you have read. And you handed them out like candy and tried to defile others to get them to read the devil's doctrines. These are just some of the things you must ask forgiveness for. The list is long and you will cry. But those who truly love me will forgive you. They will know if it was not for my mercy, they could have fell for the same mind control traps of Satan. Come through the airwaves. Come through the smartphones. Come through the satellites. Come through the TV airwaves. Those who are truly mine, they are protected. They are hidden, not only under Ephesians 6 armor, but under I, Yahweh's invisible cloak of protection and the dome, which is a living rock, is over all of their homes. Those who strive to obey Yahushua HaMashiach prove how much they love me. Abba Yahweh, Yahushua HaMashiach, and the Ruach HaKadosh, Imaya. This is what I have to say. For you, who are the obedient ones, who tremble in fear at even the thought of disobeying me, and when you do, you quickly say, Yahushua, please tell Abba Yahweh I'm sorry. Please wash me clean with your blood. Wash away this sin quickly. I have nothing but blessings in store for you. This year of 2020. But woe beyond to those who are full of arrogance and pride. You must quickly shut that door. You must walk in integrity. You must admit when you are wrong. Enough of this. Even those who say they are mine walk in arrogance and pride. It's not about who you are. It's about who your creators are and what we have put inside of you. And do not believe any prophets unless they have proof behind the prophecies, how many now have shouted it, I'm a prophet. Oh, really, where's your proof? Elisheva has proof behind the prophecies. Where's your proof? She is a very well-seasoned prophet. From the very start that she asked Yahushua to come inside of her, And I call her an apostle because she flows to all the five offices equally. And she's seen my sons face to face, knows the color of his eyes, knows what it's like to feel the love rushing through her veins that he has for her. Can't you see those who truly belong to you, Shomashiach, who refuse to give up? refuse to give their soul to the devil and live like this evil world. Can't you see I love you the same? Can't you see Yahushua loves you? Can't you feel it going through your veins? You don't have to see Yahushua face to face to know this. Just read the new blood covenant. Realize the old blood covenant. 
is past. It is history for a time and a season. It was all there is. Until man's sin became such an abomination, I warn Moshe, whom you call Moses, this is no longer going to work. I'm sending a new blood covenant, a new Messiah. Oh, watch for him. And Isaiah 53 shouts it loud and clear, line upon line, precept upon precept. This is who Yahushua HaMashiach is. This is who the only begotten son of Ayahaveh is. This is who the only Mashiach is. The only Messiah. The only deliverer. The only exodus is a new blood covenant that will keep you out of hell and the lake of fire and will be your intercessor. He comes before I, your heavenly father, Abba Yahweh. And after he's washed your sin away with the blood, he intercedes for you. He pleads for you. Please forgive them. They are mine. I washed them with my blood at Calvary. I washed their sin away as far as the east is from the west. He is your intercessor. He is like a lawyer. For better words, only the lawyers of this world are corrupt. My Yahushua is not. He is nothing but pure perfection. Only the holy shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Before you had an excuse for you did not have the Ruach HaKodesh living within you. But on Shavuot, that all changed. Now you have no more excuses. For you have that still small voice within you that lets you know, help Yahushua, I have sinned greatly. Help Yahushua, forgive me. And immediately I hear it. When you say a prayer, the Ruach HaKadosh Shekinah glory, Imaya, takes those prayers and blows them to me like a kiss. And you're forgiven. Caleb, come back. You're a toe away from blasphemy, but come back. I want to use you to reach Israel, for they don't even know me. They know the Torah, but they do not know Ayah. They, they have no relationship with me. They know what it's like to go to the synagogue, but they do not know me. They do not know me. How few. And none of the Orthodox Jews know me. For if they had known me, they knew that they had crucified my only begotten Son, the co-creator of this earth, the Word that was made flesh. They would know without the shedding of blood there can be no remission of sins and they would know that they have no Messiah now. For I told Moshe, Call him Moses, I don't care. What other name you know, call him by, whether it be Hebrew or whether it be the English name that you know. This is not going to work. I am holy. Only the holy shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Do not believe these Mainline churches anymore. Run, run, run from the Sunday churches if they're not teaching against sin, if they're not warning you what is sin. How many have come to this ministry and not even known what sin is? A baby, a little soul is pl placed inside of a woman. It's a time of conception. 
You murder nine month old babies and now you cannibalize them and you sodomize them to death? And you pass laws that say we can kill these little ones because they're not human, they have not yet taken a breath, and even when they do breathe, let's kill them anyway! We need a special fluid that's in their bodies. It's going to make us young again, revive our, our youth and our health. Whoa, Bianca, <clears throat> just wait until I get you to hell. Wait, just wait. No one who has done these atrocities to these children, no one who has cannibalized a child, <coughs> no one who has sodomized a child, No one will enter into the kingdom of heaven. <coughs> you have taken them innocent to the most innocent. And what you have done, as my holy angels, for those who die of this atrocity, have had to turn their back for they could not watch. And they wept as they laid their swords down. You ask me why? Why are you allowing this? Why have you not dropped them all dead? I give everyone a free choice. I gave my own angels a free choice. I gave Lucifer a free choice. Who once sang songs of worship to me. I, Yahweh. I, Yusha HaMashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh. The mother of creation. Who's image do you think he was made in? And I've had Elisheva write a book and tell it to you. The secret of the Ruach HaKadosh. King James goes and takes the word for the Holy Spirit instead of adding an S to the word he. So all he had to do was put a she. I refused to allow him to take out that wisdom is a she. If you read your Hebrew, you would know that those who speak Hebrew already know the name Ruach HaKadosh is a feminine gender word whose image do you think it is? When I said, come and let us make humanity in our image, it was not just man in our image, or everyone would have been running around looking like a man. This ministry of a mighty wind ministry is unlike any other. You can hate it, men can hate it, because you who call yourself holy and even a prophet, call yourself a rabbi, and then you take a look at this woman with all these prophecies and revelations and you see her as a leader of this ministry and you hate her? Because why don't you know these revelations? Why don't you have these prophecies? How dare I, Yahweh? And you even hate the name, the way that she says the name Yahushua. So that's the way that I speak it in every prophecy. Ah, Yahweh saves. It's always in your face when you say the name Yahushua. Yah saves. You hate her. And you say, where is her covering? Where is the man? He's the one who's supposed to be the head covering. 
There is no protector of a man anymore. I gave her a husband, but he wanted to rule. Not just her, but control the anointing, and not just that, control the ministry when only the head of this ministry, since Prophecy 105, it is stated again and again that only the Holy Trinity is the head of this ministry, but he was the head prayer leader. If no one in the world would have ever defended her, there should have been one man that was there that I called the head prayer leader. He should have been willing to lay down his life for his wife. As I, you, Shohamashiach, did it. For mine. For all those that I've claimed are mine. My sheep and my lambs. And for my bride. So do not hate her for what she cannot change. Do not hate her. When I say that, just as Malachi say, there's going to be an Eliyahu to come to be that messenger. Do not hate her. But what I have ordained her to be and to do and what I have proven is to for over 25 years just on the internet alone. She started out as a young teen. Not even believing there was a God. She went looking for me. I was there all along. Read her testimony. And you will see the greater the anointing, the greater the suffering. Is that what you want, you so-called false prophets? When my holy ones are told that when they are persecuted for my son Yahushua's name's sake, Great are their rewards in heaven. And they are to count it all joy. You say, how can you count suffering as joy? They are joyful in the fact that the battle was won to the name and the blood of Yusha Mashiach and they're on their way to heaven. They're joyful because they have a relationship. With that beautiful, still, small voice called the Ruach HaKadosh that lives within them. And they can know right from wrong. I refuse to let Elisheva say happy. Happy New Year! But on this day, I give you the reason why. I do not promise happiness. Where do I say that anywhere? In the Holy Scripture. No, the Holy Scriptures warn. Yahushua himself said it. Oh, my children, if they had all loved me, they would all love you. And you know very well. The holier you strive to live and to be and to have the ears tuned only to heaven, to Yahushua HaMashiach and listen to the rock within you. You are hated more. You are persecuted more. You are libeled. You are slandered. And yes, You are so hated, they want you dead. How many times Elisheva's life has been threatened? And yet you who claim that you want to be and you want to take the place of Elisheva Eliyahu, I'm going to make you suffer untold agony for every time that you've tried to say that you are the ring maiden that you can take her place. I'm going to make untold agony for everyone who knowingly false prophesizes. For the prophets are.
dearest friends, true prophets that are ordained from heaven. I, Yahweh, tell my secrets and I tell them beforehand and then it comes to pass. Anyone can read proof behind the prophecies and see how long ago I even warned about the zombie apocalypse is to come and now all they do is make fun and put it in every video game and on TV programs. You think it's going to be fun? Will it be fun for you when you see the Nephilims in person? Those existed at the time of Moshe. Why the ark was built? The hybrids that went into the humans as they fornicated? What are you going to do when you see monsters come at you taller than the tallest tree? One toe can smash a house. This is what you're looking forward to. I will not allow her to say, Happy New Year. The trials of your faith is more precious than gold. Will you still hang on to me? Will your faith Stay strong in Yahushua HaMashiach. It's like Yahushua says, how many will I find that still have faith when I come back? Because it's not going your way? Because you laid a road map for your own life? And because I'm not going along with it? It's to be done. I, Yahweh's way, or it's hell's highway. Choose ye this day which God, which creator. And I'm speaking of I and Yahushua Mashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh. Which one are you going to follow? Will you follow the true Holy Trinity? Or are you going to follow in the footsteps of Satan and all his evil children? And I speak of the hybrids now. Those of you who think you're human. And yet you've got a reptilian brain. And Obama even bragged about it. You just let it slide by because he was president. He has says he's got a reptilian brain. And now I warn you that the reprobates have reptilian brains and far worse. They are reptilian serpents. They speak with a forked tongue. They're after... Not only just the Christians, but now they're after my Messianic Jews. They're after those believers in Yahushua who teach now and believe what Elisheba Eliyahu is teaching. That's a Hebrew roots backed up with the Holy New Blood Covenant scriptures. The Torah means instructions. It is not just, does not just mean the law. It is not only the five books of Moshe. It began in the book of Genesis. And it goes all the way to Revelation. There are instructions. Instructions in the old blood covenant. That I, Yahweh, demanded to be followed. And there's one thing that will never, never change. Shabbat is perpetual. It will never change. In six days this world was created. On the seventh day we rested and we gave this gift. Yahushua Mashiach gave this gift to man. And he is the one who said, everything that was created is good. Let us take a rest. That is why he is called Lord of Shabbat. And they dared to accuse him of breaking the Shabbat when he is the one who first had the idea, let us do this, O oh, Holy Father. Let us do this. Let us give this gift to man so they can rest. They work hard for six days. Let us do this in remembrance of the six days that we created the world and all that is within it. But this does not even include all the planets. You do not even understand. It was more than just earth that was created in those six days. 
the sun, the moon, the planets. Who's taught you that? First time, isn't it? Who's told you that? You will not learn it from a Sunday church preacher. This is a Hebrew roots ministry. And the old blood covenant is a foreshadow. Meaning it was to be obeyed at that time. Even the blood on the doorpost as Moses had warned so the death angel would pass over and not touch anyone inside was a symbol of Yahushua shed blood in the new blood covenant. So you will be protected as Psalm 91 has promised, but oh, 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 why? I speak to the Orthodox Jews now. Why are you afraid to say my name? Do you not even read Psalm 91 and the protection that's in it and what Son or daughter doesn't know the name of their own father. And I'm not talking about those who are orphans and who never had a chance to know. I'm talking about those who do know the name of their father. Well, I am the heavenly father. And I want all to know my name. And my son's name is not Yeshua. Yah is in his name, as it is in the, nearly all the disciples, with an exception of a few. This is why I said, oh, Orthodox Jews, you can hate her. It is not going to change one thing. You need to get a relationship with I, Yahweh. And the only way that you can do that is to accept the Messiah that I gave you. The blood atonement for your sins comes straight from heaven. And he is co-creator and this whole world was made for him and by him. Along with I and the rock, Kadesh, Emaya. I even told Elisheba the name Emaya. For the Shekinah glory is a very presence around me. She's a very presence inside of you. She is the comforter that came on Shavuot. Now I've said enough. But these reprobates who now say happy birthday to a man they truly hate just because they succeeded in breaking a marriage up that was ordained from heaven. I do not start anything good without finishing it. This ministry has tried to be stolen twice and they thought they totally had destroyed it. They forget this ministry was ordained and preordained and who I chose to be the leader. And then I chose a man to be the co-leader. Come back, Caleb. Do not become like them. You know what true prophecy is. Elisheva and you have had over 1,000 and you did not speak forth one word, but you prayed in holy tongues. And that's what brought and stirred the anointing up. It did not mean I would not have used you, but no, you went before me. And you just had to do that lying prophecy where now I will never put the word apostle and a prophet before your name again. Your name is a comeback kid from Israel to show that Israel can come back the way that you did. And it will, it will be without any arrogance and pride. They are only the chosen ones because they know so much. And they're held so accountable. And they are going to be chosen for the great tribulation to start there. 
So do not grieve that you are not called the chosen ones. And many of those Jews in Israel and those spread all over this world, they will call out, Blessed is he who cometh in the name of Yeshua Mashiach, for he is Lord, and you who are the bride of Yeshua. Do not think you have to wait until the evil of this world, whom you call Satan, Yeshua called Beelzebub, once called Lucifer, has to sit. His son has to sit in a third temple in Israel. He already rules this world. And only Yushua HaMashiach and the holy angels protect those I call my children whose name is, are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. My bride can be taken at any time. Yushua can call them forth. I will tell them, go get him. He's already been on the way. But you don't know, do not know how far heaven is from the earth. You do not know when the bride of Yahushua and the ring maiden. You do not know when the ring maiden will hear. And I have already called her Elisheva, Eliyahu. It's already in the prophecies. She will know. She will hear when the call forth, the bridegroom is here. What a day of rejoicing when whatever time zone you're in shall be in the midnight hour. And the bridegroom shall come forth out of his chamber to meet with his bride. I'm going to give more prophecies on this. But I'm telling you in 2020, I have made a promise for those who are my sheep and my lambs. I have promised you that the plans I have for you are for good and not for evil. I have promised you and I am not a man or a woman that can lie. That even when it looks like the worst in your life has happened like it did looked for Elisheva when Caleb forsook her and evil overtook him. I have made a promise. Whatever the worst that could come into your life could happen, I, Yahweh, promise that all things work together for good that love. I, Yahweh, and Yahushua, and the real Kakadesh, and you are called to our purpose. Caleb, you are called to our purpose. But in the meantime, you have not risen up and accepted your responsibility. And so therefore I call out now, since Caleb means a pure heart, I have prophets. I have those who are born in Israel. I have those who do not walk in pride, who are humble and walk in integrity and do not hate this woman because she is a leader of this international ministry she cries out for a male balance in this ministry she cries out for a Hebrew translator and right now through this prophecy I now call you forth I called forth the anointed Goliath slayers I call forth those who hate sin as much as they hate the reprobates who do them those who are the reprobate serpents tongues and hybrids I call you forth now. I know you are praying for her. Everyone can see on the videos. Everyone can see the thumbs up. Everyone can see that you're praying. But you think that you're not worthy to step up and even introduce yourself and write an email to her. Right there on contact, you will reach her immediately. And if I tell her so, you will have a video chat. And I speak to the women. You too can be a Hebrew translator. 
Come forth, introduce yourself. But the men from Judah, come forth. She cries out to me and she says, how can I be a Hebrew roots biblically based ministry if you don't bring me somebody from Israel to teach me more of the Hebrew roots? For this is what Caleb once done in 2016 and 17. And when I discerned that he was telling the truth and it was backed up with the Holy Scriptures, it was such a blessing. It was spiritual meat. Who will feed me the spiritual meat again so I can feed it to the congregation? Come forth. Do not be a coward. Do not be intimidated. Come forth. I speak to the men now. You who call yourself a Messianic Jew, but you worship Yahushua Mashiach, and you desire to follow after him, and you call him by his true sacred name. Because my name's in it. I, yeah. Even King James Version could not hide it. The name of Yah is in it. You know how to speak it. You fear the name. Stop fearing the name of your Holy Father. Stop fearing the name is why you do not have the kind of relationship that Elisheva has with me now. But you can and you will if you but believe every word and truth in these prophecies and in the revelations that I have given to her you will have a new and stronger anointing. Be willing to be persecuted and slandered and libeled. Be willing to stand up and defend. Like I raised up King David. Be willing to humble yourself. When David begged for his dying child that he had with Bathsheba, the first baby, conceived in sin and because of murder and adultery. I would not bless that. But King David took his crown off and for seven days he groveled on the floor before me and begged and begged, squirming like a worm. Forgive me, forgive me, save the life, save the life of my child. I could not. But his heart touched me. His sorrow touched me. And that's why his next son, I so abundantly blessed. And yet look what that son did. He too turned on me. He knew the Ruach HaKadosh. He wrote a book. And then he wanted to get into mysticism and sorcery. And then he started marrying the hundreds of heathen wives and concubines came to him. And fornication. And this is what the Kabbalah is. It's a book of mysticism and sorcery that will lead to death or suicide. It will lead to the occult. It will lead to hell. And Caleb... You have to apologize as co-leader and as husband behind Elisheva's back. In 2018, he started teaching it when I warned you this ministry would never be about Kabbalah, would never teach Kabbalah. Elisheva was never to know what Kabbalah was, was in. The book, the most evil book, proclaiming that mere dust of a man could be a god. Repent, for you must teach Israel that it is wrong and you know the evil of it now. She did not read it. She does not know of it. But the first prophecy I gave her, gave to you, that came out of her mouth, 
you must never teach her the Kabbalah. You must never teach Kabbalah in this ministry. And what did Satan have you do? But break my first rule I ever gave you. And yet Yahushua will forgive you as you ask forgiveness with tears streaming down your cheek. For what you've done. And that narcissism to make you think that you don't have to do anything, you don't have to speak at all, give a false prophet word. That's all you needed to do. You let the reprobates do all the talking, you don't say a word. You let my holy ones do all the talking, but you don't say a word. I command you again and again to get a hold of Sylvester and Talia. Get a hold of them. So you do a video chat. And you can proclaim to the world how sorry you are. And publicly ask Yahushua to forgive you. And ask the people to pray that he will deliver you from the demons. You're not coming back, Caleb, until you have real pure motivations. It's not ever to think that you are going to be a leader that is not a pure motivation. It is to bring souls to Yahushua HaMashiach, to teach the people right from wrong from the prophecies that have been spoken, the revelations have been given. You are not ever to think your motivation has come back to be a dictator of Elisheva, for she has no dictatorship over her. She belongs only to the Holy Trinity, and I'm not going to name the names again. She belongs to heaven. And so do all those in this congregation who believe that this ministry is of heaven and is heaven sent, and they have come to the cross of Calvary and been blood washed and blood bought by Yushua HaMashiach and they now know what sin is and they run from it and they believe and they do not doubt when I'm speaking forth the word from Elisheva, Eliyahu's mouth she will always have haters anyone who is holy and obeys I and Yahushua HaMashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh you're going to be hated. When President Trump stands up there and he defends everyone, he says there shall be no prejudice in the United States. Everyone is to be equal and, and accepted equally. Even the transgenders, the homosexuals, the Muslims, but did you notice that he left out the born again, Holy Spirit filled, believers in Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messianic Jews, the Shabbat keepers. He left them out. You are the most persecuted. And although he proclaims to be Christian, he left out the word Christianity. It is not as though he isn't convicted. He is. You will see what will happen. He needs all of your prayers. There are so many curses that come at him. They actually gather around and have their ceremony and rituals, as you know. Remember this, it's not just for Donald Trump. It's for every holy child of Yahushua Mashiach. They're cursing you. They fast against you. Even, even the, the author of the Harry Potter, her witch is gathering. She knows of the prophecy against Harry Potter. United Kingdom, you're going to pay in a great way. For you were the first to promote all of this teaching the little children to become sorcerers. 
where they become so demon-possessed they even kill their own father and mother, send curses upon them. This is why I said, you are living in the most evil times now next to the great tribulation. You're so very close now. <clears throat> Look at the children. Look at the teenagers. Look at Justin Bieber. Look what he's doing. Why are you following him? Why have you not told him? He releases the song, Yummy, all about sex and various forms of it. What he wants you to think is women and then on his social media pages, all he shows is images of infants. Can you be this stupid that you do not understand this man with pink hair now? flaunts of feminism in your face that he now has. He mocks you. Can you not see and do you not recognize what pedophilia is anymore? Do you not know when a man is lays a table out? Can you not understand when Kate Perry says that the leanest meat in Hollywood now to keep all of them thin is cannibalism? vampirism where do you think the dead bodies are coming from and why do you think the police do not care why do you think the government does not ask where are these dead bodies coming from how do you get a hold of this, this cannibalistic lean meat there's no protein in it I did not make flesh to eat I yeah, they grieve they grieve my son Yahushua Mashiach and Raka Gadash, my precious, precious, precious Shekinah glory. Holy Spirit is the only one who keeps me from regretting that I ever made humanity. That I ever said, come let us make humans in our image. They remind me of the sparkle amongst the dung. They remind me of the price Yahushua paid. I'm warning you, not even in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah did they do these things. That's why I can't wait any longer. That's why I will not allow Elisha to say Happy New Year. And even now, it's very late in the month that I'm giving a new prophecy. And the other ones aren't even finished yet. And with Caleb, there's so many prophecies been held back because he was holy at that time. The two anointings were one, and she does not know what to be able to do, for he speaks to them. And he is a reason he prayed in holy tongues. The prophecies came forth as she was protected and she was able to speak them forth. People are complaining because where are there all the prophecies and why are you sealing them? What is she to do? She waits for him. But I will not deny her request. I write now, I, Yahweh, the father of creation, call forth the pure-hearted Caleb that is a mantle. It's a mantle. It's not just a name. Come forth you with a pure heart, with pure motivations, to help her to bring souls to my only begotten son, Yahushua HaMashiach, the only Messiah. Come forth. You men from Judah, come forth. Women who live in Israel, come forth. The Hebrew translators, come forth. Be ye a man or be ye a woman. Come forth. Come forth. I want to introduce you to my daughter. Come 
come forth. Do not be intimidated. Do not be jealous. Do not be full of pride. Do not think you're coming to rule over her. I alone rule her. Come forth. Show me how much you care about Israel. Show me how much you care about the souls in this world. And do it freely unto the love of Yahushua HaMashiach. Send those videos. Hit that contact button. Come forth. And you who want to just write and just Oh, she's had them. They've come, all right. But I warn you, you must know spiritual warfare. You cannot be a baby. You must know spiritual warfare. You must be brave. You must be bold. You must be willing to defend. Elisheva Eliyahu, are you willing? For even when Caleb was here, he never once defended her. But when the Caleb anew arises, it will be like Lazarus came out of that tomb. And he will be alive in a new way. It does not mean physically his body had died. But spiritually, he was one toe away from blasphemy. That means offending and blaspheming the entire Holy Trinity. But now I speak once again in the midst of a prophecy. Hebrew translators come forth. You who know about the Hebrew roots and want to teach her more about how you compare the Old Testament with the New Testament and how they both line up as the saying Yahushua HaMashiach new blood covenant that was promised come forth and see and share what you both know as she feeds you spiritual meat you can feed her heavenly spiritual meat but be warned, she does have discernment. She will say, please prove this. Where is it backed up in Holy Scripture? That is what I, Yahweh, have to say this day. And I speak it forth at a time. Everyone least expected it. Another video to be made. And I told Elisheva she's not to grieve when people betray her anymore. She's not to cry. She's not to grieve. She's not to shed a tear. When those she thought that she trusted and loved like spiritual children, they were her spiritual children at one time. And then they betray her like a Jezebel. It is I, Yahushua HaMashiach, that is dividing and that it means in all of your families. Read what I said. Do not think that I come to bring peace to the world. But I bring a dividing sword is what Yahushua said. He is dividing the sheep from the wolves. Even though you think they're a sheep now. And they look so holy. Only I know what the future holds. Yahushua Mashiach is dividing the wheat from the tares which are weeds. And I've allowed them to grow together, but now comes a division before the great tribulation. Do not believe in the great worldwide revival. That is for one who will be the son of the devil who is going to be called the anti-Mashiach, the anti-Christ. That'll be the worldwide revival. That's when the new world order comes together. 
But instead, the scripture says there's a great falling away before Yahushua Mashiach comes. And the great falling away has already begun and has been for quite some time now. But you're going to have to make decisions between your own family. Do not accuse her of breaking up families. It's Yahushua Mashiach that has a dividing sword. She did all she could to keep them, the marriages together. When once they were once they were both believers, and then one turns away and walks away from Yahushua and calls her a false prophet, you do not call someone, and you do not call a ministry evil. When again and again it has been revealed, only souls are led to Yahushua Hamashiach, and only the Holy Trinity is worshipped. And only holiness is preached in no compromising with sin. So it meant she had to lay her own husband down on the altar of sacrifice and wait and see if I give him back. But he will not come back the man he was before. He will come back delivered like the man in the Ganardine Cemetery. Remember though that man, he ran towards Yahushua. He knew he was demon-possessed and he wanted free and he was shackled and bound with chains. I want to break the chains off to the demon-possessed. So go to Yahushua Mashiach. Cry out to him. I will hear. Ayave will hear and I will answer. But you must truly repent and turn from the evil and expose the evil be willing to lay your life down if need be. But you will not deny Yahushua HaMashiach is the only Messiah, the only King of Israel, the only ruler of this world, the only begotten Son of Yahweh. So it has been spoken this day. Um, on January 20th, 2020. She kept asking me, why? Why can't I let go? I can't let go of, of Sukkot. And I can't let go of Hanukkah. It was such a happy time. The words you want me to speak will not bring everyone happiness. So few will be happy when they realize I did not promise anyone a happy new year. You're following Yahushua, you will be persecuted for Yahushua's namesake. You're following Yahushua and a true believer and a worshiper of him and doing your best to obey him. You will be hated for his namesake. But I made promises to you. I will give you life and life more abundantly. I will bless you in ways that no amount of money or treasure on this earth could ever be a blessing to you for there are spiritual gifts that come straight from heaven. Run, 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 run away. Run away from those like a Donovan in the casino. Run, 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 run away. From those like a Shane Yub and Stephen. Run, 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 run away. Run away. For those who proclaim, follow after us. We are now holy. We are Torah keepers. Run, run, run away. Far as you can, as fast as you can, rebuking them and asking me to take vengeance on them. I am El Shaddai. I am El Shaddai and I destroy all who are evil. I am El Shaddai and I shall do what was done to Sodom and Gomorrah, only it shall be far worse. I am El Shaddai. You are going to hear prophecies in 2020 that will make your hair curl. And I speak in a spiritual realm. 
you will know that your only safety is running into the ark where I have put you, and that's in the arms of Yushua HaMashiach. You are not going to ever have any feel-good prophecies in them where she's going to compromise and make you feel oh so good and not tell you the truth. The truth is that I will protect you in my name. When you come to me in the name of Yusha Mashiach, I, Yahweh, will protect you. Cry out to me, Abba Yahweh, in the name of Yusha Mashiach. Protect me, hide me under the shelter of your wings, as Psalm 91 says. How dare anyone mock and say, come underneath the wings of of Ezra, mocking Psalm 91. Run, run, run away from anyone who tries to preach you another doctrine other than what Yahushua HaMashiach has taught. The foreshadow, the history of the old blood covenant. Was that it was the history of it. There had to be a history for there to be a present now. Yushua HaMashiach said it is finished because he did not come to cancel the laws of the prophets. He came to fulfill them with his own mouth. He said it. He fulfilled them. He paid every price in Isaiah 53. Read it. Orthodox Jews, I dare you to read it. See if that could possibly apply to a nation of Israel. No, 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 it can't. Only to a man who took on the persecutions of this world, who was born in Bethlehem in a stable, and Sukkot, which means stable. All of these truths I have revealed through these prophecies on Sukkot and on Hanukkah and Hanukkah is a conception. You cannot have a birth without a conception. Read what this ministry holds. There is not one lie that has been written there. For those who have called this ministry evil, who once called it good, who said they loved Elisheva and now say they hate her and want her dead? You are doomed to hell in a lake of fire. But it's going to be far worse than you could ever imagine. Because you see, this is not a man or a woman's ministry just because she holds a domain name. It belongs to the Holy Trinity. And even the Holy Trinity they dare to defile. And a demon goddess. Caleb, repent that you would even think a demon goddess. Oh, because of Christina told you there was one? And necromancy? Calling up the dead? Calling forth, and you think they're in heaven, so you call them forth to come down to an earth full of stench? You think I would allow it? No! I would not allow it. Uh, Yahweh has spoken this day on January 20th, 2020. And I have used my ring maiden, my vessel of clay, one of the brides of Yushua HaMashiach, To proclaim this word to all who will listen and to those who do not want to believe it or receive it get out of my sight I Yahweh say get out of my sight I hate every atom and every molecule within you for you have called evil but I have called good and with my own hands I and you shall have a shek and rakakadash. I've anointed and protected this ministry, and so it shall continue. You cannot destroy what we have built. When it's no longer on the internet, 
There'll be a heavenly internet. There'll be books that have been written and hidden. There'll be word of mouth that will proclaim the words that were here. You cannot ever muzzle this prophet. For there will be always someone there that I have anointed to be able to speak forth the words that they have heard. It'll be the new blood covenant, oral Torah. But if that's the only way the word can get out, like in so many parts of the world now, yes, even in China, where it is forbidden in other countries, Yahushua even has his bride hidden in Iran. You would be surprised with the bride of Yahushua are hidden where my true prophets and true apostles are hidden be they a man or woman or a child I always have a remnant I will always have a voice and no one will ever silence it I Yahweh have spoken Siva. Abba Yahweh, beloved you, Shamashik, and precious real Kakadesh, I don't have a husband anymore to be able to thank you with me. We used to do it together. I had a co-leader. I had a male balance for a short time of two years, a little bit of a third year. But forgive me. I want to shout it all over the world. We praise you. We worship you. We love you. We adore you. We receive these words you have spoken forth from me this day. Amen. I didn't know you were going to do this, but I never, never do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your only begotten son, Yahushua Mashiach. We worship. We praise. We love and we adore him. He is the living rock. He is your only begotten Son, and He is co-creator, and He is the Word that was made flesh. He is the menorah. He is perfection. He is the Messiah. He is our soon-coming bridegroom for those of us that have been called and preordained already. He is the lover of our soul, the Song of Solomon. He is our beloved. And we worship him. And we're so grateful for you, Yahushua Mashiach, that you took our place at that cross, that you, every disease that was laid upon you and every form of torture that Satan could conceive that was in that whip, as they beat you even with their fists and they pulled your beard out and they spit in your face. And Yahushua, you did that all for us. In three hours, you did that for us. And our faces and our names who belong to you, Yahushua, whose our name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You showed me during those three hours, even when you barely could say, I thirst, and they dared to give you gall and vinegar with a sponge because the cross was so tall and you refused it. They would not even give you water. And as they refused that living water, how many refuse your living water now? But not us. Not us who want a testimony as unto Enoch. For Enoch did not see death. Instead, he was translated because he was to heaven because he was found pleasing Yahweh. That is our heart's desire. For those of us who desire and who go the extra miles to prove how much we love you by obeying you and being true to our keepers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. There's nothing worse than falling into the hands of living Yahweh. What he can do to every atom and molecule that you 
all of you reprobate serpents who are on the reprobate's wall of shame that I have on this ministry, and all of your names are not even there, but just wait, they will be. I've just been a bit busy. Just wait. Yeshua said, every one of your atoms and molecules shall feel the fire. You shall spontaneously combust. Poof! Up in smoke. You shall go. Whether it be a fiery car crash, I don't know. But you shall feel it. And your brain shall be scrambled, for he said so. Confusion like you've never known before. And you who want to gather together to try to kill me and try to... And you do. You slander, you libel. You speak all manner of evil against me, trying to chase away the people from the ministry. I cannot... Abba Yahweh is telling me I cannot even fathom, just thank him ahead of time. Because you are going to suffer untold agony like no one has ever suffered before. I'm talking about worse than what Hitler. I'm talking about worse than Mussolini. I don't know why those two names came. But you are going to suffer even worse than the fallen angels. And the fallen angels are in your reprobate souls and I've already told you so. You know who your names are. I don't need to say any more. But I want to thank you, Abba Yabe. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. For you said, vengeance is mine, saith Yahweh. I will repay. You never told us to forgive. And Esau, you never told us that we had to forgive. Like David did not run after Goliath and say, Oh, Goliath, I'm taking off your head, by the way. And I'm going to kill you, but I forgive you. Yahushua did not say, I forgive you. To the Pharisees and the scribes. He told them they were from below and he was from above and they were the children of the devil. But he didn't say, I forgive you. Even that has been manipulated. When it says that we are to forgive people who curse us, this is curse words is what they were talking about. I can easily forgive somebody who curses me with curse words. But when they're sending the demons and the spirits and the curses and doing the rituals of death and destruction and all the other Curses they send against the Holy Ones. We are not to say that we forgive them. And we are never to say that we bless anyone other than if we know Yahweh has said to bless them. And they are a blessing to Yahweh and Yahushua. Just like we do never are to curse anyone. And ask for Abba Yahweh to curse them. Because we don't really curse anyone. We just ask our Father in Heaven to please remind him of his promises. And let them be chased by the angel of death and let them be tackled with everything of Deuteronomy 28. The curses of Yahweh, for I did not write them. Yahweh said, and I thank you for it. There's blessings of Deuteronomy 28 and we receive them in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for everyone who worships you. We receive them, beloved Yahushua HaMashiach. Every one of us who strive to obey you in fear, Yahweh, not wanting to anger him, we receive these blessings of Deuteronomy 28. They are ours. We wear them now like second skin. We receive them. We thank you for them. We couldn't have any of them if you had not gone to Calvary. We could not have any of them if you had not offered yourself to be tortured and to die on that cross because on the third day you rose again proving the resurrection and we are resurrected through you Yosha Mashiach we have our exodus from hell and Satan because of you precious 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 Yosha Mashiach and the Ruach HaKodesh who leads us to you the great comforter we thank you we praise you that we are not under Deuteronomy 28, the curses of Yahweh, that all these reprobates who are in re re rebellion and refuse to repent, refuse to bow their knee and admit Yahushua HaMashiach is Messiah and turn from their wicked, evil ways. They shall wear Deuteronomy 28. 
curses like its second skin. Not one of them will escape. And I ask Abba Yahweh in the name of Yeshua, no mercy, especially on the enemies of a mighty wind ministry, who I as a leader, they really target. And Yahushua's demon stompers, who are the very best prayer intercessors. And those of a mighty wind congregation who have stood by my side all along, praying that the true Caleb Anu will come forth and redeem all that evil that has been done. Yahushua, thank you. Thank you, precious Raka Kadashi Thank you, thank you, whom some call Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you for letting me hear the words that you wanted to speak this day. Thank you for calling me your apostle, your prophet, your ring maiden. I feel so unworthy, but women, listen. Don't let any man tell you that he is the head and he rules you. You are who even think you're in holy marriages. Listen. The first one that you are to always obey is Yahushua HaMashiach. And of course that includes the Holy Trinity, but I'm speaking of Yahushua right now. Because he said that the men were to treat you, were to love you, to lay, be willing to lay their life down for you. They are to teach you. Only holiness, only that what the Father would do. When they're doing that, then you line, they line up with Yahushua HaMashiach. When they're not doing that, then they are the opposite. And you are not compelled to obey them in any way. Tell them to obey Yahushua. Remind them who the head is. I had to learn all this the hard way. Now I pass it on to you. Never allow yourself. Never allow it. For you have the Ruach HaKadosh within you. Never allow yourself to be abused, to be beaten, even to be spoken emotionally to be beaten as they beat you down with words and make you think that they're more than what they are. Don't allow it, O oh holy women who belong to you, Shamashiach. Instead, pray. If this man does not change, then take him from me whichever way you want. I belong to you, Shohamashiach. I will never put any man or woman before him. This should be everyone's prayers when they truly belong to Yahushua. And of course, this includes the entire Holy Trinity, which are three. And never ever allow anyone to tell you it's four. The Bible says anyone comes to you and preaches any other doctrine, you are not even to allow them in your door. And that's for quite a few religions out there. So we thank you and we praise you. We praise you for the gift of tongues, the tongues of men and angels and for the interpretation. We thank you and we praise you and I shall even hear some of the interpretation when this is over and what they heard. And the visions that I have as a tricord, we sit together as we were praying all day on another matter, on another blessing from heaven. Oh, precious ones, please write me. The greatest gift that Yahushua ever gave, if he never gives another gift to anyone on earth, is he said, this blood's for you. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. And every one of us was in those shoes at one time. Until the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, led us. As she was in that upper room on Shavuot. And she entered into the disciples. Though we were not yet born. Our name was already in the Lamb's Book of Life. Whatever decision we made in heaven, 
the war was continued here on this earth and will end on this earth. And you shall Hamashiach shall rule and reign. And the promise is for those who worship him in spirit and in truth. We shall reign like kings and priests. And those are mantles that you wear. Doesn't mean you run around with a crown. Do not listen to these evil ones. They will try to convince you like Donovan that he is over there and they're all Christian. They're going to the Christian saying, I am holy, follow my example. If you follow their example on the reprobate's wall of shame, you're going to end up in hell in the lake of fire and far worse. And to the Messianic Jews now, they try to deceive. Sherry Shriner is dead, burning in hell. Angie Ray is dead, burning in hell. I could go on to name the names of the enemies who said that I would die before them. I'm alive, and I proclaim I shall live and not die, nor ever be buried on this earth. I will have a testimony as unto Enoch, and so will the entire bride of Yahushua Mashiach. And if you think it's easy to be the bride of Yahushua by just saying a salvation prayer and just sinning now and then, well, you're wrong. If you can't keep the Ten Commandments and there's something very wrong with you, nothing could be easier when you belong to Yahushua and you do not want to bring him any pain or any shame. And I thank you, beloved Yahushua. If it wasn't for the Ruach HaKadosh within us, we would not know conviction to know what is right from wrong. But this ministry is full of conviction and the prophecies too. But they're full of hope. And if you're not reprobate, meaning unrepented sinner who will never repent, even at the hour of their death, they will never repent. They are called reprobate. I thank you, beloved Yahushua Mashiach. Our love for you only grows stronger. Our love for you, O Holy Father, Abba Yahweh, only grows stronger. Our love for you, sweet Holy Spirit, Rakakadashi Maya, sweet Shekinah glory, only grows stronger. Our zeal to be able to reach souls for you only grow stronger in my desire to reach Israel. Only grow stronger as a Jew. I need the man of Judah to come forth now. I need someone right now from Judah to come forth and teach me more of the Hebrew roots. So we can teach together. I need someone with an anointing like unto mine. So we can pray in holy tongues and stir up the gifts within each other. And for you men who are so jealous, I did not want to be only the woman leader. I admit I did not know until Caleb came to me. I do desire with all my heart and soul to have a male balance to this ministry. And Yahushua has promised me it will happen. So thank you, Abba Yahweh, for all of your promises. Oh my, the beautiful revelations and dreams and prophecies that, are, that the people will hear. To know that Sukkot and to know that Hanukkah go together. Never did I ever see anyone do this before until they started following the example. But you told me that. And you spoke it to me and woke me out of a sleep and told me how happy you were for what we had done at a mighty wind with a video of this on Sukkot where this international ministry came together just to praise and worship you for your birth. And on Hanukkah we all rejoiced in your conception. The eternal light. You were the menorah that was in that temple after it was defiled. Be 
before you were even born on this earth. You were that oil. You were that menorah. Oh, Yoshua, thank you. We worship, we praise you, we love you, we adore you. I'm sorry I don't have a man to join with me now, but oh, you precious, precious men out there, my sons in Yahushua and my brothers in Yahushua, though we have not personally met yet and you have not written me yet, just know that we are one in Yahushua HaMashiach. If you truly worship him, serve him, and obey. Yeshua said, why do you say you love me and not obey me? Another version says, why do you call me Lord? That means ruler. And not obey me. So for those who tell you, oh, we're all, it's all about grace right now. Don't worry about the cross. Don't worry about sinning anymore. You can sin all you want. You always can go back. This is what our reprobate ones do now, the reprobate enemies. They think they can go back and they can convince the people. We said we're sorry, but they never said one word to me that they're sorry. All they do is try to kill me more or slander or libel. And they're out after Yahushua's lambs and sheep, and I will not allow it. For I was given the words, feed my sheep, three times audibly. And with all that is within me, that's what this ministry does. As a spiritual food given to me, the good food from heaven, I give to you. I offer to you. You either were brought to this ministry to be blessed or to know the curses of Yahweh. For salvation. Or judgment. What you do to this ministry. And what you do to me. And those who preach our holiness. And make the videos. Will determine. Whether you're going to heaven or hell. And you who think you can call me a false prophet? When all I say is backed up with the Holy Scriptures. Especially in the New Blood Covenant. And this is a Hebrew Roots New Blood Covenant ministry. If you're looking for an Orthodox Jewish synagogue just because I'm a Jew, get away. You don't belong here. You can't have one foot in Orthodox Judaism. You can't have one foot in the New Blood Covenant. And you can't have one foot in Kabbalah. You can't do it. You're going to be forced to make a choice. And there's only one that will get you to heaven. For there is no salvation in this whole world. As the scripture says. Other than the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, who some call Jesus Christ right now. Just so you know, I only say that name one time. Because that Hebrew virgin birth mother of Yahushua, whom some call Mary, Miriam, in Hebrew, she did not give her Jewish baby, and neither did Joseph allow it did not give a, a Greek name to that Hebrew infant called Yoshua HaMashiach. And even King James says, Emmanuel, it still means God with us. For he acknowledged and he knew that was a virgin birth. With the beautiful hand of the Ruach HaKadosh placed it Yahushua in the womb of a virgin young Hebrew woman. But she gave birth with great travail as a human woman. Because he is the son of humanity. He is both Yah, God, in the spirit and he was also of the flesh 
It came from the line of David. And I won't argue with you rabbis. For you who want to show me how intellectual you are, how little I know, I won't argue with you. I know who my Messiah is. I have seen him face to face and not in a vision. His eyes are the brightest of blue. And when you've ever felt his love and seen those eyes, you will know what I know and why I do what I do. No matter the persecution, no matter the suffering or the price we have to pay, and the Bible says, Blessed are you who have believed and not even seen his face yet. Blessed are you. For it is all faith. And faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. I thank you, Abba Yahweh, in this 2020, increase all of our faith, increase the anointing within us. Those who truly belong to you, Yushua HaMashiach, and as your, your ring maiden, I pray with all of my heart, please bless the true bride of Yushua HaMashiach. Please deliver them. Please heal. Please restore. Please hide. Hide them. Open portals to them when it's need be. So they have, they can escape. Put the cloak of invisibility on them. To confound the evil of this world. Provide for them. Supernaturally. Lay food on that table if a holy angel delivers it to the door. Thank you, beloved Yahushua HaMashiach, for all that you're doing and all you're going to do to protect your children in 2020. That is my prayer. That is my blessing. That I speak forth on the Almighty Wind congregation who truly worship Yahushua HaMashiach and receive that this blood was for you and you are forgiven and you have no doubts of who he is and you have no doubts who the reprobates are. May you actually see the shapeshifters come in there and see their faces shift as we have. And the third eye bulging out, may it only get bigger and never be able to be disguised. That's what I ask Abba Yahweh El Shaddai in this year of 2020. So the people will believe and they will stop playing with the third eye. It's meant not to be awakened. That's what these reprobates have done. The enemies of this ministry. Who are they, you ask? Go to the a part of their ministry that's written on the menu, reprobates wall of shame, see who they were and what they had became in one month's time. You will hear in November how they proclaim how much they love me. You will hear in December how much they hate me. One month's time. That's all it was. 2018. You'll hear with your own ears what it's like when a fallen angel enters into their soul of a human. I just want to thank you, Abba Yahweh, for keeping us holy. I want to thank you, Abba Yahweh, for the fear that I do have of you. We know that we are nothing more than dust. But I want to thank you that you say we are your diamonds. And with much pressure, they're there has to become a diamond. And though you put the pressure on us, I want to thank you that you will not allow us to give up those of us whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life living in these end times. Thank you again for this word you have spoken. And Yahushua HaMashiach's name, I give the Holy Trinity all praise, honor, and glory. 
We worship you, Abba Yahweh, you Shamashiach. Raka Kadeshi, Yasha, Kanya, glory. And call the Holy Spirit, all of you, all three of you, we worship you. We say, come, Yahushua, come. The bride begs you to come. Come, Yahushua, come. The guest beg you to come who will be at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Some of them don't even know you yet. These are the ones we must reach. But some man out there from Judah, from Israel, born and raised in Israel, who can teach me more of the Hebrew roots, who has an anointing to stir the anointing up within me so more prophecies will come forth. Please be touched by the words I have spoken. Do not be offended because I spelled the name Yahushua. I did it because I was commanded by heaven. It's in the prophecies that come forth out of my mouth that is not, is not of my flesh. Come forth, you precious, precious women who were born and raised in Israel. And even if you don't, were not born in Israel, just come to me. Please write me. If you can be a Hebrew translator, please help me. And you will stand beside me on that glorious day we stand before the three thrones and rewards are handed out. You will receive a prophet's reward. I cannot speak Hebrew but for a little bit. These prophecies must be transcribed into Hebrew. Will you help me? Will you answer the call? Freely given it to you, Shuamashiach. I humbly ask. Abba Yahweh, take whatever treasure you want to take from me in heaven, store it up for me in my storehouse in heaven, but please let it not be long now that there will be a man from Judah to come forth. There will be someone who will teach me more of the Hebrew roots to back up with the biblical new blood covenant scriptures. I, I ask you, bring that daughter, or sister, and Yahushua, or whatever she wants to be called. But I ask that you bond us together. And she too will come forth. You even gave me the name of a singer that is a famous Messianic Jew in Israel. And I've obeyed and will write her and ask her. I know it's her choice whether to say yes or no, but it'll prove how much she truly loves you, Yoshua. If she has a burden to help me with this, again, I thank you for hearing our prayers. For Yoshua HaMashiach's glory, Sila. Amen. This salvation prayer was given by Yahweh, Yahushua, and the precious Ruach HaKodesh to Apostle Elisheba Eliyahu 25 years ago. This emotional prayer has never been redone until now. Especially if you are not saved yet and haven't given your life to Yahushua or if you have backslidden into sin. We urge you, and more than urge you, to say this salvation prayer together with her. If necessary, listen to it several times and get this prayer into your spirit. And again, repeat it with Elisha Veliyahu with all of your heart and with all of your soul. And get saved, because tomorrow could be too late. Get saved and give your life to Yahushua HaMashiach right now. Dearest beloved Yahushua HaMashiach, I give my life to you now. I ask that you live through me. I ask that you create in me a pure heart. Psalm 51. I accept you, Yahushua HaMashiach, now as a ruler of my life and my Messiah and Savior. You are the God that I worship and love. I need and I want and I desire. Forgive me for my sins, for I know all have sinned and fell short of the glory of our creators. 
Forgive me, Yahushua. Wash me clean. Wash me clean. I confess my sins before you now. I lay them at the foot of the cross of Calvary, where you were crucified and tortured and where you died in three hours. Later you said it is finished. And yet you didn't stay dead on the third day. You did arise before witnesses. And for 40 days you walked this earth until you ascended back to heaven before witnesses. Yeshua HaMashiach, whom some called Jesus Christ, I declare your Hebrew name now before the great tribulation comes. The name is used as a curse word when they say Jesus Christ, and they do not dare to say that as a curse word of Muhammad or, or Allah or Buddha or even Satan, but they curse the name above all names. One of the parts of the Holy Trinity. For you are the only begotten son of Abba Yahweh. And the Ruach HaKadosh. And you are the Holy Trinity. And there is no other. You are the co-creators. You are the word that was made flesh. Oh, Yahushua, forgive me. Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah. Above that cross hung the words, King of Israel, and they couldn't take it down because you are coming back again to rule and reign. And oh, Yahushua, the bride of Yahushua, say, Come, Yahushua, come. But not everyone is fit to be the bride of Yahushua. And so you say in the book of Revelation, Blessed are all who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, forgive me of my sins. Wash me, wash me clean with the only pure, holy blood sacrifice. When you walked this earth for 33 years, you never had a thought of sin. You never had an action of sin. Although you were tempted with every sin, you told the devil to get lost he had no claim on you and he will have no claim on me after I say the salvation prayer oh Yahushua HaMashiach I believe you paid the price for my sins at Calvary you were crucified you were tortured you were mocked you were spit upon your clothes were, were stripped off of you as soldiers gambled, even for the clothes on your back. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, forgive me and put your Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, within me, so let me know when I do right and wrong. Send the Comforter, let the Comforter come in me now. For I know you are not dead, but you arose again on that third day as that big boulder was rolled away that the soldiers had placed there and guarded. But that did not stop you on that third day. The boulder rolled away. I ask you to come into my heart to forgive me of my sins. I confess every sin to you now and I name them and I turn away from them because I've been washed clean of all the unrighteousness, all the filthiness of this world. I give my life and my love to you. I will not deny you. O oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, you said if there had only been one, if there had only been me who would cry out for mercy, you would forgive and the sins would be as far as the east is from the west. You said there's only one sin that could not be forgiven and that is a blasphemy of the Raka Kadesh, the sweet Holy Spirit. 
Oh, beloved Yahushua, I would not be saying this prayer now if I was someone who was of blasphemy unless it was of mockery. And I do not mock. I truly believe with all of my heart and I will not doubt there is but one truth and way and life to get to heaven. There's only one intercessor, only one name that Abba Yahweh, the Holy Father, will even listen to a prayer, and that's through your name, Yahushua Hamashiach. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have sinned against you so greatly, but I rise up. I'm not staying fallen, and I rise up, and I come to you, and I hang on tight to the cross at Calvary where you died for me and where you said it was finished. I turn away from every sin. I rebuke Satan and all those who are part of him. I rebuke the unholiness in the name and the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach shall constantly be on my lips and I shall study and show myself approved and I shall read the New Testament. I shall read and I shall know you are the Torah from the law, from the beginning to the end, from Genesis to Revelation. I thank you now for filling me with your Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, the sweet, sweet Shekinah glory, the very presence of Yahweh. And thank you for giving me the desire to serve you all the days of my life. And thank you for giving me the desire to live your life in me. Oh, Yahushua, live your life through me. I give your my life and my soul to you. My mind and my body belongs to you. I'm so grateful. I have a Messiah. There is a blood sacrifice for, as it is written, with out, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission, no forgiveness for sin. And the blood of the animals of the, that were sacrificed in the Old Testament, in the Old Blood Covenant, would not satisfy Abba Yahweh anymore, for the sin was so great. He had to send his only begotten Son, to whomsoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you for filling me with faith to believe and never doubt. Oh, let your name be glorified through these lips and everything I do from now on. Show me how I can serve you. Show me how I can glorify you. Show me how I can exalt you. Thank you for freeing me from every addiction. Thank you for freeing me from every sin. And although I won't be perfect, thank you. Thank you that I'm able to say and reach out to you again and say, Yo, Shua, I've fallen. Please forgive me. But I will not premeditate sin. I will not hurt you like that purposely. Thank you for giving me the desire to read the Bible, especially everything about you. Thank you for helping me to understand what Ella Shavella Yahu is teaching as a Messianic Jew. She's teaching the Hebrew roots of the biblical scriptures and the Torah is from Genesis to Revelation. Your name is there. If they only knew Hebrew, they would see. As you told Ella Shavella Yahu, you taught her that the Torah, the Old Testament, was only a foreshadowing of when you would come. You would have a better plan. Moses did what he was to do, for at that time, it was not yet for you to be born. 
but even the blood that was over the doorpost of that sacrificial lamb was a foreshadow of you, Yahushua HaMashiach, when your blood would save and the angel of death would be forced not to touch those inside. And the curses could not come upon them, for they truly worshipped Abba Yahweh. Thank you for giving me the wisdom to understand the holy scriptures and the holy prophecies that you have spoken forth through a mighty wind ministry. Thank you for loving me and saving my soul. You said if it had only been me, you would have went to the cross at Calvary. You would have been tortured. You would have been beaten. And by your stripes, you said I was healed. You did not stop at your salvation. But you allowed Satan to go into the torturer that beat you 39 times with a no ordinary whip. But a whip with bits of lead and stone and anything that could rip and tear your, your skin in shreds till you barely even looked human and then forced you to carry hundreds of pounds of a cross up the hill of Golgotha. Oh, Yahushua, help my faith to grow each day, oh, Yahushua, Mashiach, so one day I will be with you in heaven and you will embrace me and cover me in kisses. I will be at the marriage supper of the Lamb. I will not deny you even when it comes to the fact that they say you have to lay your life down like they will demand for people to become martyrs. And only the bride of Yahushua HaMashiach will have a testimony as unto Enoch. So help me to be strong in you. Fill me overflowing with the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit now and deliver me from the evil one called Satan in your name, Yushua HaMashiach, let the demons flee now in seven different directions. As I belong to you, Yushua HaMashiach, as I say this prayer. And I pray it, and I will continue to pray it each and every day until it gets in my spirit and my soul and my mind and my body. Oh, Yushua, help me. Yahushua, to remember all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Father, Yahweh. You came to save us sinners. And that's why you're called our Savior, our Mashiach. You are the one and the only way to heaven. Your name is salvation. Yah saves. It is not Yeshua. That takes away the divinity of your name. You're named after the Father. And the Father's name is in your name. This is what I've been taught to stay. Help me, O Yahushua HaMashiach. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Help me, Yahushua HaMashiach, for I know I will be persecuted for your name's sake. Help me, Yahushua HaMashiach. I will never give up my faith in who you are. This day I am born again. I am blood washed. I am blood-bought. My soul is not for sale. I belong to you, Yahushua HaMashiach. And because of it, I can now say to Satan, 
as it is written, submit yourself unto the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and then resist the devil and he shall flee from me. And submit means I will obey you. I will obey the Ten Commandments. I will obey the holy feast that Abba Yahweh has set in place to bring honor to the Holy Trinity. Abba Yahweh, Yahusha Mashiach, and the Ruach HaKadosh, sweet Holy Spirit. I will honor the Shabbat day and I will keep it holy. And it is not the lie of a Sunday. Help me, Heavenly Father, to defend the truths of a mighty wind ministry and the truths and the prophecies. Let me not turn into a reprobate enemy. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, I worship, I praise, I love, and I adore you. Thank you for coming into my heart. By faith, I believe every addiction has fleed from me. Every temptation to sin right now is gone and when I am tempted remind me to call upon the name of Yeshua HaMashiach I worship you oh Abba Yahweh I've come now to the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and I come before your throne and I ask for your help for Yahushua has told me that before none could come to you and have a prayer answered unless it's through the name and the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. I will read this prayer and I will hear this prayer for it was spoken underneath the anointing and Elishav Eliyahu who did not even know one word from the next what she would speak for you put the new prayer in her mouth for even the old prayer has passed away and become new and I will say it not with the head knowledge but with all of my heart I believe it in faith and I will remember that Yahushua HaMashiach is not only my God and my Lord and the soon coming King of Israel and the only begotten Son of Yahweh. He is my Messiah. He is my healer, my deliverer, my resurrector. And he is my best friend who will never leave me nor forsake me. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he is with me. I hang on to Psalm 91, and I hang on to Psalm 23. For I know, Yushua HaMashiach, you love me so much. You love me so much, you led me to where this prayer is. You love me just the way I am. You love me so much that you said, now I will make you better. Now I will raise up in you the true spirit within you so that I can say that you are pleasing unto me and no longer call you a worker of sin. Yahushua, you paid the price for my sins. And now I don't need to feel guilty or condemned anymore. For I have confessed every filthy sin before you, Yahushua HaMashiach. I have named them and I have cried tears over them. And I have told you that I am so sorry. And you have said, my child, I forgive you. Now you must have faith, and faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. And even if I don't hear your voice like Prophet Elishavela Yahu, I know that you hear me. I know that you see me. I know that I am a child of Abba Yahweh. You, Yahushua HaMashiach, and you, precious Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, Imaya. All of my sins are now forgiven. And there's a no fishing sign there. The only one that can go there is if I choose to remember my past sins and feel dirty about them all over again.
Or if I choose to allow Satan to go fishing there and say, remember what you used to be and do. And that's when you have told me, Yahushua, that I am to tell Satan. I am forgiven. My soul belongs to Yahushua HaMashiach. And as he reminds me of the past, I will remind him of the future and that is a bottomless pit for eternity and the lake of fire. I now know that a sin is anything that I have done that displeases a holy Abba Yahweh and you, Yahushua, when you Ruach HaKadash. I know that we all work out our own salvation with fear and trembling and whatever was done in the war in heaven against Lucifer, the war has been brought down here on this earth. And I will fight him. I will fight Satan and all of the unholy ones with him and all of the reprobates. I will fight them. Not in my strength, not in my might, but in the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh. I will get to know who you are, Yushua Mashiach. For John 3.16, the Bible tells me that I must confess you as my ruler of my life, my Lord, my Savior, my Messiah. So you will confess me before the Holy Father, Abba Yahweh. I must remember never to be ashamed of the name of Yushua HaMashiach. Never be ashamed of the truths and the revelations I will be taught. For Yahushua HaMashiach is not ashamed of me. I will tell someone that I can trust. That today I have made the decision of my life. This is my birthday. The day I say this prayer with all of my mind, with all of my heart. My body and my soul and my soul belongs to Yeshua. I accepted you, Yahushua, of Calvary and Nazareth, born in Bethlehem, both God in the spirit and both God in the flesh. But it was flesh and spirit that hung on the cross at Calvary. And this day I know that all the angels in heaven are rejoicing. They are rejoicing and they're singing with joy. And if no one ever rejoices over me on this earth, if I feel no one ever loves me or accepts me for who I am, I know that you rejoice and I know that all the angels rejoice for this is what the Bible says. And I know this apostle prophet, Pastor Elisheva Eliyahu, rejoices over me right now. And she has said, if I need a pastor, then I have one. And I know I am welcomed by a mighty wind that come online ministry that is in 51 different languages around this world that call upon you. We are not alone. And they all tell me that I am welcome. And they all wait for me to write Elisheva Eliyahu and tell her, I've accepted you, Yahushua HaMashiach. And even though I was an Orthodox Jew, and I speak now to those who will be Orthodox Jews, they too are welcome to come to Yahushua HaMashiach the way I've come to you this day. And oh, I look forward, Yahushua HaMashiach, for you embracing me and hugging me so tight and kissing my cheeks. I look forward at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Whether I be a bride or a guest, I will dance the Jewish dance with you. Oh, Yahushua, thank you for forgiving me. I feel so clean now. Thank you. 
Yahushua HaMashiach. Help me to grow quickly in you. Help me. Give me more discernment. There's so many false prophets out there. So many who claim to be Christians and yet they're lukewarm that you're going to spit out of your mouth. Vomit out of your mouth as the book of Revelation says. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach. Bring another believer to me, so I will not walk this walk alone. But if I must, so be it. For I don't walk alone, I walk with you. My new best friend. My Messiah. My Lord God, my Savior. I have you, Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank you for the gift of eternal life that I just inherited this day. To know my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Please keep it there and never let it be blotted out is my prayer. And take not the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit from me. Instead, of increase the anointing within me. This is my prayer. I ask this day on my true birthday. I said this salvation prayer. In Yahushua HaMashiach's name, I know that I will be hated more in this world than I am loved. Just like if you were walking this earth right now, they would hate you for your holiness. Thank you, Yahushua HaMashiach. For I know when Satan hates me and the demons and the reprobates hate me, and they call me crazy. I know I truly belong to you, Shema HaMashiach. And I have been born again this day. Blood washed and blood bought. And my soul is no longer mine. But in your hand, Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. <laughs> Off in the Trinity, the true head of the ministry, we had a mighty way. Walk off in the take him back from the enemy, and he shall let him go. He shall let him go. Spoke forth this prophecy, I'm the eyes, he's a mouthful. Knock her down, she'll get back up from the ashes now She's gonna rise up She'll Knock me down, I'm getting back up Can't shut my mouth, gonna rise up